Hey, this is JT at HoagiesGarage.com. Uh, like three steps left on the Impala, then it's ready to start. It's like crazy. Um, just free time, that's what's killing me here. It's still, as you notice, I'm not in t-shirt and shorts. It's getting a little chilly here. Leaves are changing, but there's still time to get this done and drive it for, I don't know, maybe a month or so before the snow flies. One of my last jobs to do here is the electric water pump wiring. Uh, I got a piece here, a whole uh, kit, whatever you want to call it, from Gary at Innovative Wiring. Uh, it's got relays, it's got the bracket, it's got all the connections, just not really any major uh, splicing or anything. Pretty excited about it. The one problem though I have here is I had this all buttoned up, you know, getting there, ready to go. I was like, okay, I got this to do. I've got a little bit of heat uh, covering on some wires and that's it. I had to remove the alternator again. Um, <laughs> I've taken this alternator off like five times. But either way, the, uh, the alternator is off. That's step one or step two really. Step one is disconnect the battery, which that's already done. Um, the main reason you're obviously disconnecting the battery, you don't want sparks, shorts, anything like that. But then the uh, the alternator has to come off because you're going to run some of the wiring. If you can see here, kind of like where this is actually Gary's uh, big battery cable right there. You're going to run the uh, the water pump wiring that way, and you're also going to go to the same ground that the battery goes to, so like that block engine block ground. So. Got that going, get to the next step here. This is pretty simple, but I'll just give you the highlights here on how to install this, because it's a really neat little setup. All right, so if you can make it out here, I'm kind of holding these wires up out of the way as best I can. This is the unit from Innovative, that metal bracket there. It's all included, everything's loomed. You bolt it down right here to this uh, power steering bracket. I went through and cleaned all this. There was some, some grime and stuff around there, but uh, you know, they do say in the instructions, this connection on your AC uh, receiver dryer could interfere. Mine seemed all right, so um, I kind of already tried this connection, and it seemed all clear. And you can see this is the, this is the end right here off of the uh, innovative setup that goes over to your... Uh, fuse block and all that good stuff over here so just kind of stash that out of the way for now um, this end is just on this AC line here but um, there's plenty of clearance I can almost get my finger in there and then you just snug that down now the long wire off of there I ran it down through here kind of like between the dryer and the uh, power steering reservoir here so from there you can see it's there's a mess of stuff on this passenger side. So, I mean, you know, do the best you can with it. I'm running it under the positive that goes to the alternator. It goes under the alternator. And this is the big negative, um, also from Innovative, but it's a huge uh, ground negative wire, whatever you want to call it there. This is running next to it through the hole in the alternator bracket. And I've got kind of a different setup here with my over the valve cover wires, but uh, the negative then goes, if you can make this out, basically connects on the same stud as your, your, your big battery negative. So this is the other end of the connection here. So to kind of give you a point of reference, that's the part that goes to the water pump. Off of there is the ground. And then I'm going to end up snaking this up here. And it'll connect to the... That's my Opti wire there. I'm just going to connect to uh, that. Now, if you notice, this connection on my uh, Summit Racing brand electric water pump is not going to match, so I'm going to have to fab that up so those two connect. But that's the basic routing for uh, to this end over here. Probably the trickiest part. So I'm going to put the alternator back on, kind of go backwards, then I'll mess with the uh, fuse block end here. Alternator is reinstalled. Everything's bolted back up power wire, ground wire, all the brackets, everything. We move over to this guy. It says to remove it, which um, I could say slightly out of order. 
but uh, basically what I'm saying that is because you're supposed to take out this gray, at least mine's gray, this is bone stock 96 uh, air pump relay, so you take that out, I would take that out first before you pull this out of here, it just makes it a little bit easier, but then the next thing it says, remove uh, the terminal in the 86 position, and I don't know if this is going to show up, but these are all numbered here. I got a 30, an 85, an 86, and an 87. Um, as it was installed, 86 is the one that is, if I'm looking at this, like here's the cowl. It's the one in the front, like bottom corner. Um, basically, basically what you do is find 86 on here, mash it up to here. On this one, it is the one that is all the way to the front, we'll say, towards the engine, and uh, up in this corner over here. There's four of them. Okay, so if that's confusing, I'm sorry, but if you look at the bottom of your relay, you should be able to tell. So as I was saying, that 86 position wire, um, this is it. Mine's pink, if you can see that. And like I said, it was in the front corner, kind of like that way, the relay, the relay's out. One important step that I could not figure out what the instructions meant was to slide out, they said, the gray relay retainer, which is this big comb looking thing, and it goes right in there. So I didn't have that out, which meant I couldn't pull this wire and uh, connector out. Um, so basically I mangled up the connector to the point where it's unusable. That's bad, because this is one of your main power sources for the whole thing. It's, I believe, the uh, the keyed one that kicks it on. Um, so with that being said, the, the kit is so uh, conclusive, has everything, they actually give you an extra terminal, which is nice, because I'm going to have to wire that onto there. Um, then from there, though, after you have that all done, you basically make a connector um, out of that pink wire, you get the seal, you get everything, and then that wire, if I give you the basics here, is going to basically go right into this connector here. And then from there, you take this black one right here and put that up into the 86 position, put your relay back in, and go from there. Uh, so a slight snag here, I am going to uh, rewire this up here the best I can with this connector because they do say it is super important which makes sense I just was not thinking and didn't remove that stupid little piece of plastic here out of the thing I just really was like oh that's not something I can tell what it is um, so I'm gonna mess with this here kinda get it back together a little bit then I'll sure to show you a finished product um, you know a couple little steps here at the end but it's it's very simple if you follow the instructions correctly nice kit though to include all these extra pieces parts because they kinda know I'm sure that you might screw this up so I'm gonna get this going here like I said before this pink wire coming out of the fuse box here uh, I ruined the connection but they gave us a new one so basically you build this connector here you put this, uh, if you want to call it the male end, onto the pink wire that you remove from the fuse box. That inserts to the other end here. It's all weather pack and it's all sealed and stuff. And then the final step was sending uh, this red wire, which you see is coming out of the loom here, onto the, the stud right there. So you can see my innovative uh, battery cable there and then the new little loop from the little wire on the, uh, the harness here kind of give you the overall look. It runs, this is all right in here, just a quick disconnect. You're basically putting it in line with the air pump relay. All of my uh, relays are under here. And then it ran over to the uh, water pump. And I still need to finalize that end of things over there. Going electric on the water pump, I guess, you know, it kind of makes me nervous because you hear of them failing, you hear of, you know, risk over gain isn't really there, but, um, you know, I'm not here to really debate that. One of my big worries was wiring it up correctly, and this kit from Innovative Wiring, uh, 
definitely took that out of it. I, I know, you know, from the, the battery cables I did from Gary to Innovative to this setup, super high quality. You know, you get that piece of metal with the mount and the, the relays and everything's loomed together nicely, cut the right length, even a little bit of extra. I mean, even threw in an extra connector because probably knew I was going to break it. So, you know, if you're you're going electric, and I get it, you could probably fab that up yourself in a way where it would work fine for you. But if you're like me and you like stuff just, you know, kind of stock looking, uh, you know you don't have to worry about it. It's definitely something I would consider. So check out Gary's uh, wiring at Innovative Wiring. Um, he does have a fan switch, which I want to get basically makes it so you can kick your fans on anytime you want which once again you don't need it but you know it's one of those little features I like on my car so um, but you know on this Impala overall we have the uh, battery cables from Gary which are double in size like almost overkill and then on top of it the uh, the electric water pump harness so Here's uh, fingers crossed that it works, and uh, we'll go from there. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope that helped you out. If you're looking to uh, get something from Gary, just just do it. You'll, you'll be more than happy. So uh, have a good one, and um, this guy's starting soon, real soon here. If you've been following along, we're getting there. Just every time I say this close, something else comes up, but it's it's going to be driven soon. You'll Next video probably will be a startup. So. Thanks again. See ya.